All right. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caleb Karoga, and I believe that Ukulima Sio Ushamba. What you can see here is what you call a vertical garden, and vertical gardens are ideal for those people who don't have um, like a big piece of land where you're doing your vegetables. And uh, it's a very simple setup. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six tier. It's a six tier setup. If you did more than that, you must be very tall. <laughs> so a six tier works very well. This is about a meter, a meter and change. So I am planting, rather transplanting the black nitshit. Black nitshit is also called managu. Uh, depending on where you come from, as we call it managu. Now I've made a small mistake. I'm trans I got some very long, tall or long overgrown seedlings. Yeah, your seedlings should not be this long, but it will survive. But it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. But it will survive. Trust me, it's going to survive. Um, so this vertical garden kit comes complete with a drip irrigation system. I will show you. If you come close, this is a drip irrigation system. The emitter is here. This is the emitter. So we have wrapped this, we have wrapped this, we have wrapped this. So once we open the drip system, what is good to come up from here? Let me open and you will see. It's going to come here and open from here. Oops. You see water coming out? There we go. Water is coming out. I had already opened the drip system earlier in this. Uh, uh, of um, vertical garden so once you're done transplanting make sure you open again the system for a few more minutes to make sure that uh, your vegetables get enough water black nightshade or if you like it managu navu or managu so this is literally behind my restaurant coffee 254 so I want as you're enjoying your meal can actually see where your food is coming from from farm to fork or from uh, the vertical garden to the fork literally you'll be seeing where your food is coming from so i'm gonna plant onions up here i'm gonna plant onions let me finish with managu uh, with the managu here the gapping is 20 centimeters the recommended gapping for vegetables is 20 centimeters that way you're not wasting space, you're not wasting uh, water or your piece of land, right? So, yeah, I got quite overgrown seedlings, not recommended, but let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see how it goes. So, let's do onions here. So, I bought some onions. I feel like onions, but some onions. Uh, I got this just from the market. Just you can cut this. Ideally, you should cut the leaves. Huh? I'm just going to cut it with my finger. That's it. They will do better once you cut. Uh, and they are like bound. You can tell this is literally from Mamamboga, from a market. I didn't grow these onions at my farm. I just bought them at the local Kibanda or the local Mama who sells vegetables. Uh, so this is what I'm going to plant. This is spring onion. So for the spring onion, same concept. Um, let me remove this. I want to plant onions here. So I come. I just do your hole. I'm just being lazy. I could do this with my fingers. And you plant your onion like that. Get your onion. And you plant. The best thing is you can actually transplant. You can actually uh, intercrop onions. Let me do it here. Do you see? Make sure a hole is deep enough, not too deep again. Where the emitter is, where the water is coming from, water is emitting from here. Then you place your your onion there, and then you cover it. Make sure it's firm enough. I'll do another one here. You will see same concept. Uh, where the emitter is, do your hole there. We had already mixed manure with the soil, thoroughly mixed. We had done uh, goat manure. So you can do chicken manure, you can do um, pig manure if you have pigs. <laughs> um, donkey, not so sure about donkey manure. Shit is shit, huh? I mean, manure is manure. Uh, so you could opt for that. 
whatever works for you so here i'm only going to plant one onion i could actually do could actually do another one in the middle actually let me actually do that huh? so i prefer just cutting this to grow more leaves uh where do we plant this let's plant this one here You can use compost manure if you have that would be really nice if you can use compost manure like i said i'm going to do a 10 centimeter gapping for onions for onions you can do 10 centimeter gapping uh because they are not that vegetative you don't have so many leaves but ideally i don't want so many leaves huh? so i open this like i said this kit is going for five thousand kenya shillings that's about uh, forty dollars at the current exchange rate roughly roughly i'm just saying roughly it could be more it could be less uh, so i'm going to do a 10 centimeter gap because from here to here is 20 centimeters so i'm going to do another i'm going to plant another one here it will be 20 now it will be 10 centimeters from plant to plant for onions but for for vegetables like um, this chard which is a spinach you call it spinach here yeah? for kale for collards um, for lettuce i would rather you do 20 centimeters so i'm gonna cut this just gonna chop this one off you don't need this all right so you could use a knife but you can just twist it that's all just twist it and it will work trust me so I'll come here and do another hole if you see this is goat manure that was uh leftover goat manure that was all it's nicely uh, decomposed so this goat manure is what we had uh, mixed together with the soil so this kit like i said comes uh full kit a full kit is five thousand shillings kenya shillings that uh encompasses the whole kit uh that's the tower the drip kit and seedlings to get you started all right so if you're thinking of starting your own kitchen garden, talk to me. Follow me on all social media platforms. You can DM me, I'm going to get back to you. And uh, let's get to the mission. I always say, Kulima, so Shamba.